amazing and awesome people, Bo Jess here, and welcome to my Outlast inspired theme park. So while playing Outlast 2, I got to thinking, you know, it would be fun to do a house build on this. But then I got to thinking, it's going to be really hard to build house, you know, like houses that look like they're falling apart, you know? So I was like, wait, I have that game. It's called Planet Coaster. And I'd love to do a build on Planet Coaster. So here it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, but I had this thought. Because that sentence made sense. Anyway, I had this thought. And, and I don't care if you're a subscriber or not. If you have name ideas that will fit the Outlast theme, even if it's two or three or four or whatever or six, I don't care. Put it in the comments. Help me, like, come up with names for all the little, the, the stalls and the roller coasters and like all the little buildings. In fact, I actually make two little things in this. I make a information, well, I add it to this building. It's an information kiosk and uh, the, the little ATM. But yeah, so that, that's a little later on in the episode, though. I am so excited for this. Uh, but one thing to let you know is I'm not making it look exactly like Outlast 2. I am just using inspiration. I'm making stuff that, you know, that you kind of see in the game and kind of trying to make it look a little bit like it. Uh, like, early on in the game, there's this building that you come up to that says something, I can't remember what it says, but it says something and then Satan. But it has like this little weird round thing on it. And and I actually try to make something similar to it in this episode. But it kind of looks like a, like maybe a place of worship or something. But then you go inside of it and there's like this like circled out area with light coming down with a cross and then when you look into it it looks like a whole bunch of like maybe dead children or just dead people and so i try kind of recreating something similar to that but i don't i don't know there's no things that look like dead people in, in this game you know because planet coaster would have thought of that and been like hey this, this crazy person named Bo Jess is gonna gonna make a monument of dead people, you know? They they thought about that. <laughs> but no, I actually use uh well you'll see you'll see it. You'll see it. Uh I can't um in in um Outlast 2 I noticed that when you're playing there's lots of like hills and stuff to kinda go in and a lot of like rock formations and deadish looking trees and bushes so that's what I was kind of trying to create here was you know that that little kind of that little part of an area that you walk through and it's like these these cliff deals I I need to figure out where it is in Arizona that the game is based because the parts of Arizona that I've been to I don't know, I didn't really feel that LS2 really looks like that part. Uh, sorry, my phone made a noise. Shut up, phone! Nobody wants to hear your baloney! What was I saying? Alright, uh, with Arizona. The parts of Arizona that I've been to. Oh, here I am trying to make that little dealy mabob that I was talking about. I don't know what the heck that thing is. There. there. But anyway, so the parts of Arizona that I've been to, I don't know. It doesn't really look like parts in the game to me. I don't know. Maybe it kind of... I don't know. Maybe I have to go to Arizona again. I, I don't live too far from Arizona. Or Colorado, really. <laughs> They're my neighbors! And that's what makes the Outlast game so terrifying. Because you're like, oh man, what if this stuff is really happening? And we just don't know it. It's so freaky. I know, I'm such a weirdo. Oh, um... 
these wood planks because in Planet Coaster, it um, you have more free form, uh, in, you know, of of stuff than you do in The Sims 4. So I'm able to take almost anything in this game and turn it and twist it any which way that I want. So I take those metal roofs, roofs, and you, I, I, I could sit there and make my own roof using those. And what I, uh, what I'll be doing later on in the episode is to make, you know, like, I don't know, like broken up shacks. Is you, I sat there and I made, you know, like put the planks in kind of like really, yeah, I would say kind of oddball, like different angles, uh, and put them up on the roof. Like as if somebody who didn't know what the hell they were doing went up there and went, oh, we got a leak in our roof and started like putting wood up there, you know? It, it, no offense. It looks like a hillbilly made it. <laughs> uh, no offense. No offense. Um, but I don't know. I kind of feel Outlast is kind of heading off in a little bit of a hillbilly-esque way in some aspects. You know what I wish they would do with paths? I really wish that they would set it up where if you made your own individual path, like it's not connected to any other path, that you could just pick it up and move it. That would be so awesome. I'm not even joking. I would use that all the time. Because these little roundabout little path deals, they're such a pain to make and make them a, like perfectly round and then line up with the, the path that you had before. And I'm not one of the people that doesn't like the pathing system in Planet Coaster. I think that it's actually really great. I mean, there's there's certain times where you're sitting there going, oh, the frustration is too much. What am I just sitting here for? Huh. Well, I didn't edit that out. That, that was a part where I'm going, what the hell button am I supposed to use? All right, this one. Yeah, I don't know. I, I try to edit those out as much as I can, and sometimes you, yeah, it doesn't happen. I bet that, because when I was trying to edit this video, for whatever reason, it was lagging really bad, and so I had to pre-render the video before I could actually edit the whole thing, because for whatever reason, you know, it was using up all my CPU and lagging, and I'm like, why, why, why are you doing this? I have, I have this beast of a computer, and somehow, this is Screwing it up. I really need to learn a little more computer lingo. That, that way I can understand everything that's going on all the time. I've gotten a lot better at it since I started YouTube. I've learned a lot. It, it is really cool. Just, just starting YouTube, not trying to like make money or anything. You just start YouTube as a hobby and you just learn so much. And it's a lot of fun. You know? I, I don't know. I don't really understand why. Like, I don't see why anybody would start it to make money. I just, I think it's fun. Anyway. But here I go with these. I, I was thinking about how I could make this building look more interesting. Because for me, it was like, okay, well, this building's getting kind of dull looking. And it just, it looks like a, a wooden thing with like a... a a crappy wooden garage, you know, and I'm, that's not what I want it to look like. Well, actually, that's kind of, well, I, I don't want it to look like a wooden garage. I kind of want it to look like a hillbilly church, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to call the people in Outlast. I don't know what, they're, I don't, I, they kind of sound like hillbillies sometimes to me, you know? <laughs> I, but yeah, the, the, no offense. But I'm gonna call them hillbillies. Um, but oh, what, what else was I gonna talk about? I mean, right now I'm just basically putting these little wood planks all over the place. Uh, oh, you know what? Roller coasters. I have two ideas right now for roller coasters. Now I'm not gonna start that in the next episode because I definitely do not finish this building. I might come back to this building because I actually started getting kind of sick of it 
towards the end because I'm like, I don't even, I don't even know how I want to finish this building. I tend to do that with builds. Uh, like, if I have a guideline of really what I want to do for sure, I can, you know, just stay in order. But when I'm making something custom, or that, you know, when I'm inspired by something, I tend to... Oh, right here I'm trying to, like, trying to get a good thumbnail. <laughs> that's, that's what I was doing. Uh, but yeah, in, in builds that are more uh, freelance, I tend to hop around a little bit more. Uh, so, y you never know. And I found a waffle there, and I was like, why is there a waffle in Planet Coaster? How long has it been since I played this game? It's actually been a few months. Um, I, I started playing it uh, when it came out. Well, actually, I, should, I had the uh, alpha. I started playing alpha 2. So by the time they actually released the game, I was kind of bored of it. I hate to say that because it really is a cool game. Oh, jeez. This. I had such a hard time with this. I know I'm jumping off to a whole nother conversation. Or a whole nother thing altogether. I had such a hard time with this, though. But yeah, I stopped playing Planet Coaster uh, shortly after it came out because, yeah, I'd been playing it for so long. I mean, you're talking Alpha 2 and Alpha 3 that I played and made all kinds of really fun things. So I'm actually pretty good at building in this game. Pretty good. I'm not the best. I'm not no master designer. But uh, since we're on this little part, uh, I couldn't find anything that looked like people. And these were the only things that were like people to me. I mean, they have those little robotic guys, but they move around. So that really would not have worked. Um, I might look around before I record the next episode and see if I can find maybe something else. Because I thought about it today. Um, while I was adding music to this that I could have probably used all them little skull things. So I might mess around with that and see what it looks like, the little skull things. Uh, and if that looks better, I might replace it. Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment telling me if you think that this looks good just the way it is yeah, or not. Um... Hopefully, you know, before I completely finish the series, because I know I don't have a lot of people that, you know, necessarily watch it right now. You know, just kind of a little YouTuber. You know, but yeah, if, if, if you happen to catch this before the series is over, uh, make, make a suggestion, you know. Let me know if you like this the way it is, or if there's yeah, maybe an item. Give me the name of the item or something that I could use. I'll go check it out, you know? I'm... I, I With this series, I'd really like to bring people in with it. Give me ideas, um, you know, or anything. Suggest names uh, for roller coasters, for regular rides, for um, the shops and the stalls. Uh, you know, something else that kind of bugs me about Planet Coaster, since we're still on this, is making, like, when you're working below uh, the, the base ground, is it has that blue on it, and it makes it hard to move things where you want. So there I go, like, spinning around and trying to figure out if the wood planks look okay or not. And then I decided, because this is a, um, a theme park, you would want to fence off um, your, your, um, your, your themed items. There is not a fence in, uh, Outlast, but I was thinking, you know, Planet, Co it, it's, it's a roller coaster game. It's a theme park. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to put a fence kind of around your theme stuff to keep your people where they need to be, you know? Uh, so, and, and I'll probably add like maybe doors and stuff. Uh, behind where people won't see. I can't, I wanna, I wanna try to make it actually look like it would be a theme park. You know, that's what I'm going for. Right now, I'm trying to make the hole in the roof that's uh, shaped like the cross so that when the light hits a certain way, maybe it'll make it look like, you know, a cross in there. I think that that would be awesome. That would look really cool. 
I'll have to mess around with the lighting. After I get the, the rope done up there, I'll have to mess around with the lighting and see if it recreates that that in uh, Outlast. This is going to be very cool because I've got a few ideas. I'm going to make kind of like a valley uh, going down and there's going to be like the little small farm looking houses in there and stuff like that. That's, that's kind of the stuff that I want to do. Uh, here is the first building. I don't know that I'm really happy with it. Um, I just kind of shoved it in here. I was going to put one on the other corner, but it ended up not working out. But I don't know. This this is subject to change. It really depends on how I end up feeling about it in the end. You know, I don't know. So, sometimes an idea will come to me and I'm like, oh, it's a good idea. And then once I get to it, I'm like, this is the stupidest idea I've ever come up with in my entire life. Why did I do this? So that's, I don't know. Actually, I'm getting ideas just kind of looking at it. So the main reason why I don't like it is because that's sticking out. If I could cover that up, and make that little area over there look better, I might keep it there. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm seriously thinking about moving it now. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, you'll see what I do in the next episode. Because I'll probably continue. I don't know. I might continue to work on this. But I, I had a... It can be very hard lining up diagonal pieces inside when, you know... It can be very hard lining those up. So I don't know, I'd fiddle with it a little bit more. You know, I, I like to come around, come up with workarounds. There I just copied it and like moved it over and I was like, oh, you know what, I bet I can get this to work. And then it ended up not working and I went, oh, what am I gonna do with this? And there I'm like looking around going, what the hell am I gonna do with this? And then I'm trying to pre-make it. And yeah, I fiddled around for a while with this. I mean, it's it's not going to take that much longer because it's, you know, sped up so fast. Uh, it, I think this whole area that I did took me a little over two hours to do this whole thing. You know, so. Uh, and that was, meh, not really, no, I didn't really take any breaks. I think I might have taken like a five minute or 10 minute break in between, but I had stopped recording. So once in a while you might see a cut in, and that's more than likely when I saved it and turned it off for a little while. So here, here's the ATM. I don't know what we should call the ATM. In fact, I actually don't even know what to call the park. I've been racking my brain of what I want to call it. Right now I'm calling it the Outlast Inspired Park. And I'm like, that is, that's, no. That is not the name of this park. I gotta come up with something better. I'm not the greatest at naming things. You know, I, I tend to use the same, eh, same kind of names. Hopefully by the time I upload this, though, it'll have maybe a decent name. I don't know, I might just call it the Outlast Inspired Build. Slash Planet Coaster. The Planet Coaster Outlast, yeah, it, 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 title's work in progress. Anyway, so while I'm doing this part right here, and I'm making the roof section, um, I got to thinking about, because that board is sticking out, and I'm like, oh, I really hate that that board is sticking out, what can I do? And I thought about it, and what I do is I take those wood planks, place them up, and remove that wall, and it actually makes it look like a wall got ripped down or torn up and I, I really really liked how that turned out I think that that turned out I don't know I, I think that it turned out really neat I like it you know that that probably I like if I move the ATM that wall is still gonna stay there because I really I like it I think it's neat and that's all that counts no not really I, I care if you guys like it too you know this, this is, you know, if you have any ideas, throw them out there. I'm not even joking. Any ideas at all. Let, let's let make this whole build, I don't know, kind of community-based, you know? I, I like that idea. I think that'd be fun. Le leave me something in the comments, you know? All right. So we're coming up to the end of this video, so I think I'll go ahead and stop talking now. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know whether you liked it or if you disliked it. And I'll see you in the next video. Night-night!